How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Obsidian Flames booster box. I actually got this in time once again, which is nice. Um, in fact, I'm recording this right after, after the stream. Um, if you don't know, I do stream regularly, usually every Friday at 2 p.m. Central be in summertime, and currently we're, we're playing through Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's actually quite fun. I'm having a lot of fun with the game so far. And here we are, Obsidian Flames is finally here. Um, you either hate it or you love it, um, but let's see what we can get here. So lots, lots of awesome, awesome cars that we can, we can get from this set. But I guess we'll start with the, with the first booster pack right here. There's always so many, so many packs in here, I'm always surprised by just how many, how many packs are in an English booster box. But you know, it is what it is. Let's see, Charmander, that's a nice one. That's a really nice illustration. And the Lampant. Oh, and here we go. A Rev Room. That's our, our first, first pull that we have right here. First booster pack too. That's crazy. Immediately off the bat, a full art in the, in the first booster pack. Let's see, there, like, like I said, there are so many cool cards in here, like the, the, um, illustration rares, or the, the special illustration rares. Like the Charizard, of course, that's the one you want to pull. But there's also the Gita, which is super, super cool. And then the illustration rares, like the Scyther, that's my chase for sure. The Ninetales, that's a really cool one, it's the Scyther! I just said this is my personal chase illustration rare, and we have it. In this one. Man, talk about talk about coincidences and luck. Jesus. Okay, I'll take it though. I'll take it. I'll take it. Something right in the in the second booster pack. First booster pack and second booster pack. Let's see if we can if we can get the hat trick. And get something in the in the third booster pack as well. Let's see. We've got a snubble. A drillber. Chew, very cute. Melamore, kind of scary. Declot Sire. We've got a Whoopie Boy. We've got a Zigzagoon. And we've got the Ice QEX. Okay, that's a hat trick. That's three packs in a row with a pull. Holy moly, okay. That's that's three packs in a row. We've got the hat trick. Oh yeah, the Ice Q um, special illustration where I guess it's also in here. Um, I'm personally not a fan of, but I, I think it's it actually has a, a lot of fans out there that really like the illustration. Um, maybe if we see it in person, I might be... I might warm up to it, but I, I really don't like the, the special illustration or Ice Cube. But hey, each to their own. Each to their own, of course. No worries there. Treviant. We've got a belly butt. Flamingo, Spoink, we've got a King Gambit, and we've got a Toxicity Tree, yeah. The streak had to end at some point, right? The streak had to end at some point. But we still got so many booster packs left. I guess, while I'm opening the, the this booster box, you know, since there are so many booster packs, we can talk about some, some stuff here and there. I just have to figure out what. Um, I guess the upcoming videos, for one. That'd be a that'd be a good topic. So the video after this one, next week at the at the exact same time, you know, Saturday, 4 p.m. Central PM summertime. That's a nice embryo. I'm actually gonna put this aside. Lillipup. Got a Chargon. And an Ente. That's a really cool illustration too, man. Some bangers in this one. So yeah, the upcoming video is gonna be another mail day video. And, well, another thousand dollar mail day video. That is gonna be the last mail day video, or the last thousand dollar mail day video for now, though. Since it's getting kind of expensive, you know, have to, have to save some money here and there. So I can go big around Christmas, you know, that's, that's the time where the high class set releases the Japanese one. So I gotta buy a few boxes of those, and I can already tell they're gonna be expensive. They're gonna be really, really expensive. Nice Charmeleon. So kind of save up money for that. Gita, nice. The Gita full art. Or like both of them, the um 
the the SIR and the normal SR. Both of those are really, really beautiful, so I'd be happy to pull either of those. Don't know if that's still the case. I mean, we already gotten two pulls right here, but who knows? The ratios of the booster boxes, like the last two I've opened, Paldea Evolved and um, Scarlet and Violet, the ratios were actually kind of decent, so maybe maybe we can get still a an SIR. We'll see, though. We'll see. Okay. Get a Grievert, another Pupitor, and a Scovillian. And here we have the Coat Card. Enjoy. Good luck to whoever gets that. And let's open them. So. Let's continue talking about a, a few upcoming videos. Um, what's the one after that going to be? I think I had planned to do another um, cheap cards video. Since I really enjoyed making the last one, I thought I'd do, I'd do another one. Um, this time around with more English cards than, than Japanese cards. I know, I know in the last video there were a lot of Japanese cards featured because it was literally most cards from from V-Star Universe, Tyranitar EX, okay. Got another pull right here. But I kind of want to do another cheap card video. You know, there are so many cheap card out there. It's cheap cards out there. Like this misconception that, that Pokemon cards have to be expensive to look cool. That is not the case. I mean, I think I've proven that with the first video already. The second one is just going to cement that, so... Yeah, there's so many, so many cool cards out there that are actually affordable and cheap. But let's see when we can get in this boost. Oh, here's the Nine Tails. Maybe, maybe a bit of foreboding. Nope, not in this one. Got a Clay Doll at the end there. And here is the Coat card. So yeah, what else is there? I guess the um, the CGC. Uh, not return. I mean, I did send in cards that I had already graded with CGC so they can rehold them and basically use their their new labels um, at the time of recording that is still scheduled for grading and I I don't think I'll I'll get this back like before um, before October so there is that um, also have some cards at PSA although I didn't send them in myself I sent them in through a middleman and I think the last time I checked was like um, a few days ago and the tracking set like research and ID or whatever that means. Also expecting them like back or not, not expecting them back like earlier than like end of October probably. Probably even later honestly, but that's fine. That's fine. If I get them back at some point, you know. Um, still haven't submitted my, my other cards, you know. In the past few mail days, I've bought a, a few cards that I wanted to send in for grading. I um, still haven't come around for that. Yo, holy moly. Okay. Here is the SAR. We have a Rever Room. You know? Nice. Okay. We have the the SIR to, to this card right here. Okay. Let me just show you the, the code card. And actually get up close, up close to this card. Yo, this is actually super cool, honestly. That's actually really, really cool. Look at this one. I actually kind of like it. Not gonna lie. Who who illustrated this? Or oh, Sijiro Gunjima. Okay, I recognize that artist. That does probably that well. That that does take our our SIR spot. Um, but I think we should still get. I mean, nothing is promised in English booster boxes as always, unlike Japanese booster boxes. But I think we should still get like two two art rares, a few more EX cards, and then maybe if we're lucky, another full art trainer. That happened last time. Well, here we go. There is the the other illustration where we've got a Pidgey. That looks really cool. I know a lot of people really, really like this card as well. Oh, and a Darkrai. Whoa. Check out this Darkrai. Check out this illustration. Man, that looks insane. That looks really nice. And here we are with the code card. Okay, here we go. I cleaned up the the pulse a little bit. And let's continue on with the opening. We're still not done with the with the first side of the booster box, but we've already we've already pulled so much. 
that I feel like the the second half of the booster box is gonna be it's gonna be real boring. Okay, we got a smaller, very cute, the room, slanded. Got a what is this houndstone? Diggers by or diggers be camera wrapped. We've got a wiglet, steam tower grunt, palafin, and that's it. Nothing else there. Didn't know why I expected another pull there. That was it for that one. Also, I have to put the Umbreon somewhere else. So let's put it right here. Since it's actually interfering, this is where I usually put my my polls or the comments to put at the side. Let's see what the I'm really curious. What other oh yeah, the nine tails. That's that's also a really cool illustration rare. We really love to to pull one of those. Really, really cool. Let's see, maybe we can get it. I mean, we've got the Scyther. Um, not in this one. Not in this one. Another Entei. We already have one of you. Um, I'm actually curious to see where most of these cards will settle. I mean, I feel like this isn't going to be too much. I'm just curious, honestly, about the Charizard EX. Like the, the crazy looking one. The one that's actually, you know, featured in this in the thumbnail of this video. Um, I personally really like it. I know a lot of people actually hate it, but I think it looks it looks really cool. I'm kind of curious to see where it will settle. I have a feeling it will settle below 100, though. Like, I don't think it's going to be that expensive, honestly. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where these illustration rares are settling, because I, I know that the Tyranitar and the Magikarp from, from Paldea Evolved, that... Those two went crazy expensive. Now I don't know if that was because, you know, the the artwork looks nice and everything, which which it definitely does. Okay, three packs left on that side, and then we have the other side to deal with. Or if it was just, you know, a buyout on, on multiple websites. But then again, even if there is a buyout on TCG Player, that wouldn't necessarily mean that there is also one on, like, Card Market or something, but who knows? Who who knows? I feel like the, the Nine Tails, since everybody or most of the people are gonna be chasing it, I feel like the Nine Tails is gonna be it's gonna be kind of expensive. I really hope it it isn't, because the card is actually pretty cool and I kinda want it. But you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing, that's it. Okay, two more packs left on that side, and then we can deal with the other with the other side. Um, let's talk a bit more about some upcoming videos. So I've talked about what's what's planned for the for the next week and so on. If I can get this out, there we go. But let's go let's go a bit um, further into the future, I guess. Um, I really want to do another 100 euro mystery box opening. I did that last year, and I actually ended up pulling like really crazy, not just the the alternate art Zapdos. But I also put like the Mimi QV, like the special illustration rare from. Oh god, where where was that card in? Was it Silver Tempest? Although no, that in, it probably wasn't Silver Tempest. It definitely was um, a Trainer Gallery, Trainer Gallery card. I just don't remember this set where it's from. It, originally, it's from V Star Universe, but you know, so that's that's still on my on my agenda. Definitely do another 100 euro mystery box opening. It's always so fun because you have so many different packs to open. And if you get some older packs from like some older Sword and Shield sets, it's almost like a trip down memory lane, if you will. You get to open some of these older sets. So there you go. Okay, that's the that's the right side done. We still have a full sight more of booster packs. Let me get these out. So I can get the the box off the table. Man, I still feel like this site is gonna be really boring. I mean, besides from a from a few EX cards here and there, and like an illustration rare, and maybe maybe a full out trainer. I don't think we're gonna get get much. Oh yeah, right. The the Lavatar is is also in here as an illustration rare, I think. But I, I don't really like that one. There's a few cards in here that I don't like, but there's also some that I absolutely love. Not in this pack, though. Not in this pack. But the next pack. Okay, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. This is gonna have a pull in here. I can already tell. I can already tell. You know, you have to do it for the camera. <laughs> yeah. 
You have to do it for the shorts video. If I say it has a pull and then I pull something, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be insane. That's how we get the that's how we get the views for the shorts video, right? That's how it works. Okay, just just watch. Just watch. If I can get the cards off. Excadrill. Got a Pidgeotto. Got a Dragonair. I've got a Pidgeotto again. Got a Town Stork. Hey, look, watch this. Oh, well, it is a hollow, but a hollow is now promised in every pack. Oh well, oh well. I mean, if I keep doing it, at some point I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right. Okay, let's continue on with the, with the opening. I'm. I just saw that this pack actually features um, Dragonite, and the other pack features Tyranitar. It's kind of crazy. Unless I didn't, I, um, I didn't see it. I don't think Dragonite or Tyranitar have a a special illustration rare in this set. Which is kind of crazy. They they gave it to um Reverum. I mean this is this is still pretty cool. This is this is gonna end up in my binder for sure. But that's kinda strange that it didn't go with like um how do I put this? Pokemon that are more popular than this new one, but I well, I guess it's a Scarlet and Violet set, so they kind of have have to, in quotations, have to give it to some some newer Pokemon, you know, from Scarlet and Violet, so maybe that's their reasoning. Because they already given one to the Charizard. But we will we will never know. Um, speaking of the Charizard, though, I'm really hyped for the upcoming um, Pokemon 151 set. Um, not only because the Ultra Premium Collection, um, I'll talk about that a bit later. Now, oh, here we go, Ice Q EX. See, that's what I that's what I'm talking about. We have both the Ice Qs now, other than the the SAR. So there's something. There's something. Focus, please. There you go. Both the the SIA or both the the Ice Q EX is nice. Very very nice. Okay, so Pokemon 151. Well, it's essentially a I don't know if it's a direct copy of the Pokemon 151 set that came out in Japan, which by the way is still pretty expensive. Um, I do have you know, I did get my order in for a booster box from the Pokemon Center Japan. So I got one for MSRP. I also got an order in for um for Clay Burst back in the day i want to say it's it's pretty long ago at this point so i'll be uploading those at, at some point on the channel it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun but yeah the the upcoming expansion the english release of that one um that it's gonna be crazy because there is gonna be so many sars in there that i really want for my binder i i mean first of all all three of the starter evolutions right like Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, all three of those, those are gonna be gonna be amazing. I really want those for my binder. Then there's also the Zapdos, which looks incredible. And uh, luckily, though, luckily the Mew SAR from Pokemon 151, they decided to make that a promo for the um, for the watch me call for the Ultra Premium Collection of that set. So that's really nice. So you're basically guaranteed to get one. It means that the that the value will tank, but I don't care one bit about that. I just want cool looking cards, and that is in fact a pretty cool looking new card. It's actually kind of growing on me. I mean, I have to be honest. I am I'm a really huge Mew fan. If you've watched my my videos before, you know that. I mean, the channel icon is literally Mew. I'm a huge Mew fan, and while I personally I'm, I'm not 100% on the card. I mean, I I think it's great, and I really appreciate that we get another Mew card, and even an, an SAR in Japanese. Oh, here we go, Bellybot. That, I think, is our our last illustration rare, unless we unless we get, like, magically a fourth one. But I think that's the that's the last one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% on that Mew, Mew SAR. Um, it is actually really well done in Japanese. We'll see how they... How they bring it over to English? If they can replicate the the sun effect, there's like a, an effect with the special texture and everything that, depending on how you tilt it, you kind of see the sun going down in a way. And I don't think they can they can replicate that in in English. So we'll see how it looks in in English. That card. I mean, I'm still gonna add it to my binder. That's for sure. That pack opened weird. I mean, we didn't get anything, anyways. But here is the code card. I guess that's that's for you. I didn't get anything from this one. 
Well, that's not the other, that's not the only card though. There's also the, um, the Mewtwo illustration rare in there as a promo. So the Mewtwo from Pokemon 151, you also get that as a promo. Which is really, really nice. And you get a, a Golden Mew. Well, that's actually just the same Golden Mew from Pokemon 151. But that apparently is supposed to be a Metal card. So that's kind of cool. And I know that certain companies, I know PSA, I think, does it again. CGC probably still does it, the metal cards. They actually grade those. And they graded the ones from the um, Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection as well. There was a problem earlier that they would, like, break the case, but I think they might have fixed that or something. Um, from what I've heard, though, this is, like, news from, from recently. Don't know if that's still accurate. But I've... I think they, they are still grading those, and they will probably grade that that Mew Metal card as well. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I just hope that the Ultra Premium Collection is not going to be crazy expensive. But I have a feeling it's going to be similar to the Charizard UPC, where it's going to be available in, like, in mass, and it's going to be really, really affordable. Here we go, Clefable. We've got another EX card. Not another EX card. You know, I'm really, really rooting for for one more one more full art. Like a full art trainer. Any full art trainer that would make my game. Preferably preferably Gita. Because that's the coolest out of all of them. But you know, I'll take I'll take any full art trainer, you know that. You know that. Even rhyme. Shout out to rhyme style. Let's see, Wiglet. Whiskash. Kangaskhan, we've got a Camerot, Trevent, we've got a Rowlet, nope, not in this one, we've got an Entei again, we've pulled you multiple times, pulled that one multiple times, only a handful, well I see a handful of packs left, it's actually like seven, so maybe I'll put it in, in overdrive for a second here, let's see, maybe we do, maybe we go a bit faster. We go a bit faster to get through these these last booster packs. If the cards wouldn't stick to each other, it would be nice. But you know. You can't have everything. That's a Belossum, very cute. A Barboach and a Toxicity. Nothing for that one. I mean, I think. I think we're getting at least one more EX card. So probably two. Probably two more EX cards at the very least. And then maybe a full art trainer. I know I'm rooting. I'm rooting for the full art trainer. Rooting for the full art trainer. Or maybe a second SIR. You know, that could happen. That could happen. But, you know, we can't force it. We'll just let it happen. We'll just continue opening packs as normal. Maybe just a bit faster if I can. Oh my god! We've pulled the golden Charizard. The. We pulled the ugly golden lizard. What? <laughs> okay, well that is probably better than a full art trainer. Jesus, okay, I definitely wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Well, I was expecting um, a few more EX cards, but I wasn't expecting this one in particular. Hey, I guess we've got one Charizard from this box, so I'll take it. I'll take it, even though... It does look kind of ugly in my opinion. Well, I mean, looking at it in person, maybe it's kind of growing on me. Well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll put it right here. Maybe it'll grow on me by, by the time this, this opening is over. Okay. Well, at least we pulled one Charizard, so I can't be mad about that. That's really, really nice. Okay, if I can get this booster pack out of here, then we can continue on with the with the opening. Parts are kind of sticking to each other, I don't know why. Pokemon League Headquarters, Luna Stone, Zarina, Dolith, Pikelong, and Palafin. Nose goes for this one. Nose goes for this one. How much do we have left? Four packs, right. I, I, I think we're still getting one more EX cards, like, at least. I mean, just, just guessing here. As I've said so many times before, nothing is promised in English booster boxes, unlike Japanese ones. It's just what you can expect. And from my own experience now, opening a few of these up, 
Um, it also feels like there's at least one SIR in, in each booster box. At least judging from my um, very limited experience of opening three booster box in, in total. But, you know, a very, very um, small sample size. I mean, even if you were to open like 5,000, that would still be a, a small sample size in the grand scheme of things. Okay, three packs left. It's almost like we have just one three-pack blister left. All right. Speaking of three-pack blisters, that's also a video that I want to do in the... Well, in the future, not like immediately. But I kind of want to see if, if three-pack blisters are still good. You know, in the past, you would always have like at least one good pull out of these three-pack blisters. At least that's that's that was the case for me many, many times. So I kind of want to see if that also holds true for Scarlet and Violet era. So I kind of want to do want to do that. There you go, two packs left. We'll ch well saving the Charizard one for last. Let's open this one up really really fast. Let's see, take the cards out like so. Flip them around. Now we've got a Bi Sharp here. We've got a Magneton. Very colorful illustration. I like it. Gonna heat more. Skarmory, very cool. Is it focusing? It's focusing. Great. We've got a Sharpedo, we've got a Cleffa, we've got an Audino, and we've got a Scovillian. Nope. Nothing for that last pack there. There's the code card, though. At least you're getting something out of the, out of those duds. Okay, one last pack for Obsidian Flames. Let's see if we can get something. I don't think so. But, you know, I was a doubter before, and then we pulled the Golden Charizard. So, you know, it is what it is. Maybe, maybe we can get something. Let's see. We've got a Pawniart. We've got a Sisty. No, Sinisty. There we go. Tat Tatbulb. Nummel. Just looking in the distance. We've got the evolution of the freaking Teapot. We've got a Toadscrew. Ninetales. The Ninetales artwork didn't actually show up. How unfortunate. We've got a Scyther. We've got a Toxel, and we've got a Clay Doll. Nope, no pull in that last booster pick. But hey, I think we walked away pretty good here. Unfortunately, no full art trainer in this one. But you know, I'll take it. This one is really cool. The Charizard is really cool, and the Scyther is really cool. Those are my my three highlights from this opening. But well, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't like it, then by all means dislike the video. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, and I can try to fix it for future videos. Okay, let's keep trying this end card system. So right here there's a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you, and right here there's the sub button. Uh, once again, you should click this one first, and then you should click on this video right here. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.